Okay, today is the 18th of January, 2015. And uh, one of our updates is last night in the cabin. And I'm showing you the back. This is the back corner, which will be the pantry eventually in the kitchen. But right now that's actually our sleeping area. And last night we had just gotten into bed. We were just kind of chit-chatting between all three of us because we have Allie. And um, we had a really loud bang right by Jim's head. And, and if y'all know, Jim doesn't really know or believe that these guys are for real. So he had a really loud bang by his head. And just before that, I had heard something moving around on the opposite side of this area. So I was just kind of tuning in. And all of a sudden, we had this loud bang. And we're all like, whoa, what was that? And then uh, we heard several more sounds on the outside, and I heard some footsteps right in this area here. Now, there are absolutely no tracks that I can say definitively we got tracks, because unfortunately, Allie was so eager to see what may have been thrown or hit the, the wall. She's been running through here. No, so I, so I, I don't know about that. And... Allie says this piece of cement was not there yesterday. No, it was not. Neither was this. So we got that. It's been moved. Where was that? That was sitting right here by the... Street. That's been there forever. Yeah. Well, and we have a wheelbarrow of wood stored underneath the cabin. Mm -hmm. And we have two logs out of there laying here on the ground. And um, I'm not sure exactly where... But we keep a, ba a small bag of clothespins, and they're right inside this window here. This is the side that's getting the sliding glass doors. We do not use clothespins outside, and we don't store them outside. But Jim found clothespins right in this area here this morning, at least one. And it was not weathered. It's not wet or damp like it's been out for days. So he walked in and says, did you have clothespins? pins outside and I'm like no he's like I found this by my work area so again interesting stuff happening here at the woods and Allie you want to tell them what you heard two nights ago yes two nights ago I heard like a um <clears throat> it was like a really good flop it was like pay attention but off in the distance so you heard a wood knock yes what else did you hear I heard like a, um, like a curious swoop, like, ooh, something like that. You heard, that's actually the sound that I heard last year when I was digging, pay attention here, when I was digging the ditch to drain the driveway. Yeah. It was like, woo, what are you doing? So, yeah, you heard the same, similar sound. Now, this morning, Ellie and I, because the outhouse is back here. Allie and I were just kind of poking around back here. We do have something digging here, but I'm thinking it's armadillo. It's not, nothing major, just little stuff here and there. Sorry for the sun, but there's the outhouse. I was heading that direction. Allie and I were talking. And this is the shed that we keep tools and the generator in, which is right off the corner of the cabin. And we were just walking by it when something hit it. So something's definitely in this area once again which is not unusual here we have a lot of activity that comes out of this area right back in here and that noise you're hearing is Jim working on the staircase but this is our activity area big time yeah this is a big time area for us and it's so overgrown we can't walk back here so I'm sure they have their own little pathways. And I know there are what looks like tunnels when you find the right spot to look in. You can see like tunnels going through this area in the back here. Oh, this is interesting. Allie said, look, there's an X. And there it is. No, right actually, in front I just of crossed us. my fingers and said X, X, X. Well, you still told me there's an X. There's a lot of stuff going on in here this weekend, and um, some of it I question because Jim forgot to bring his pistol. And this was the first time we've been up here without any kind of firearms. And the activity level seems to be a bit higher. We have not seen anybody, 
but we have had a lot of vocalizations we've had a lot of um, big whoop sounds and we'll get one from this area in here and then we'll get an answering one way across the street in that area over in there so a lot of stuff going on this weekend it's been exciting because you just never know when you're going to hear something Allie's the only one who's heard wood knocks this weekend because I haven't heard any other than, of course, the back of the cabin. Yeah, so. everybody heard that. Yeah. For a pup we were all time. awake, were we not, Allie? Yeah. Yay! It was loud, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, so it was like, it was like, <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yep. What did we hear after that? Do you remember what we were hearing? Uh, I don't know. It was like half asleep. Probably. And what did you hear this morning just as you and I were giggling around 6 o'clock this morning after our potty break? What happened right at the head of your bed? Oh yeah, something, because I sleep... She um, sleeps towards this that yeah. second pillar coming from the corner. That's more her area, yeah. right next to me of course. Yeah, so what'd you hear? It, um, I heard like something like knock, like... On the wall, right? Yeah. Yeah, right on the wall by yeah, her head. Right by my head, and I was freaking out. I'm like, oh my god. And then it's like, <laughs> then it gets funny. After the initial shock that it happened, then we start giggling, and I swear they like to hear us giggle, because we were kind of laughing and joking around last night, right before the big smack on the, the wall by Jim's head, so it's been a really interesting weekend, and we're, it's a slow process building the cabin, but it's so much fun. Oh, and you're looking into my shower house right now. We haven't been using it. It's just been a little too chilly to be showering out in the open. Hey, Jim, your shower house is leaning. <laughs> Might have to get that water bucket off the top. But this is the shower house for now. Right now, we just store our, our shovels and stuff like that in there. It's going to be rebuilt here before spring, I hope, because we're going to get some fence panels, fresh um, pallets, and we're going to do a more functioning, useful one that's going to be a little more private because this end's always open but it's just us here so and nobody can see we've except got no neighbors Bigfoot. yeah except for the bigfoot which is really bothering yeah and they're always right in here so you know when you're showering you usually have somebody peeking yeah. which is kind of freaky but you get used to it yeah last time i was showering in here i mean they were like i'm like really dude give me some privacy <laughs> Allie has a great imagination too so that's it for, for now. I'm going to do a video on uh, the work that's happening inside as well. But it's been an exciting weekend so far. You just never know who's going to be around and I couldn't tell you who's doing it. I don't know if this is the young ones. But that bang on the side was pretty powerful last night to the point we were all were like shocked into silence. But again, I don't think the older ones are going to do that. I think it's just going to be the youngsters. And we know we have at least three of those hanging around. Oh God. So, all right, that's it for now. We'll give you an update if anything else happens. We're here one more night. Having fun.